Hey guys, it's PG Bootstraps, and welcome back to another Unity Top Down RPG tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make animations for a player. That's an important thing. So, first, what we want to do, what I forgot to do earlier last time, freeze the Z rotation of the player. Because what I realized is then the player will start turning when you go against the rocks and stuff. So, we don't want that. Now let's create some animations. So we're gonna open up the animation tab and drag it right here. Make sure the player is selected and press create. We'll create our first animation, we'll call it player move side. So let's make sure it's our animations folder. If you haven't made one already, then create that. I'll put it in my animations folder, we'll save that. Now we're gonna drag our side animations. So I'm gonna go to Artwork, sprites. Here it is. All right, so I'm gonna drag this guy in right here. Don't, don't forget to make the six. Drag this guy in. Drag this in. And then we're gonna drag in this in again. Make sure it's all good. Everything's all good. Now let's create another animation. A new clip. We'll call it player move down. We're gonna get our down animations of this guy. Drag him in here. Change the sample setting to six there. And drag this back here. Make sure they're all good. Yep, things look good. Now we're gonna create one more clip. Call it player move up for the animation. And drag this. Everything looks so good. Now what we're gonna do is let's go to our animations folder. And as you can see, created a player animator. We're gonna create a parameter, so make sure you're on the parameters tab. Press this plus button, click Bool, and we'll call it we'll Move X. We'll create another Bool, we'll call it Move Up. And we'll create one more, and we'll call it Move Down. We need these when we get to the scripting. So first we're going to make sure our Move Down is our default layer. Okay. Now we're going to make a transition to play a Move Side. And instead of that transition, we're going to add the Move X and make sure it's untrue. Now we're going to do the same thing for the others. Add this, except make it move down. We'll add another transition. There we go. We'll do move up. Now we've got all these. One other thing, we also got to go to the transitions and make sure you have fixed duration unchecked. Now we're going to get to the scripting part. Let's open up our player script in our scripts folder. Now that we've got this open, you can see that I added a lot more code. I'll tell you what you need to add. First, you need to add these so we can include the components that he has on himself inside the script. Animator, Anim, Sprite Renderer, Render, Rigid Body 2D Rigid, and then we're going to call the all these in the start function. Type it down. And then over here, here's what I did. If input get access raw horizontal, kind of like what we did over here, is larger than zero if we move left or right. I don't remember which one. What I did was I set the bool move X to be true, so the side animation will stop playing, and these will be false, so it'll stop playing, and render flip, so it'll go the opposite side direction. That's why we didn't make a left and a right animation. We just made a side animation. And then for here, the same thing, except the opposite, smaller than zero. All this is still the same, except this is false. And NM speed is always going to be at one for all these if statements and then for this one vertical if you go down then i set move x false move up false move down be true though because we want that down animation and speed should be one still and then else if if you go up then set move x to false move up to true move down to false set the anim speed to one and then if you are not holding any of these buttons that's why we added this else and speed is zero so the animation will just stop when you stop moving. So I'm just, I'll let you guys type this down right here. Alright, after you got that typed down, go back to Unity. And let's test out our game. I'm going to press play. And there you got it. It works. The animation's a little fast. You can slow it down if you want to. By going to your each animation and change the samples right here. If you want it to go faster, you can bring this number up. If you want it to go slower, bring it down. I'm just going to keep it at 6, because I think it looks best that way. Let's test it one more time. There you have it. 
really simple and easy new way of figuring out how to make animations instead of having to use animation trees. So it's very long and confusing. So I made this simple for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Comment below what you want me to show you how to do next for this RPG. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye! -bye.